So this dye-sensitized solar cell isn't actually as tricky as it looks. Uh, take a look at the simple animation first of all. So light comes from a source, it appears to kick out an electron, which then goes round the circuit to the other electrode and is transported back again to the die. So just watch it again and I'll go into the minimum detail that the IB seems to want you to know. Alrighty, let me add some labels and we'll go through it step by step. So the sun releases a photon, a particle of light, towards the ruthenium polypyridine dye, which is attached to titanium four oxide nanoparticles. And that dye contains an electron in a conjugated bond. A bit more detail on that later. When that sunlight hits the dye, it pops off that electron, which travels through the titanium four oxide into the conductive glass negative electrode. The negative electrode is giving off electrons. And that's why it's negative. The electron then passes through the circuit and does some work, maybe light a light bulb, and goes to the inert platinum cathode, the positive electrode. There, it moves on to the triiodide iron, which then become three iodide ions. And that electron is transported back to the dye, so the whole thing can begin again with another light particle. These are the seven steps, and they've only asked uh, quite trivial questions about this. So step one, the photon is released from the sun. Now the sun's uh, different wavelengths of photons can be used in this solar cell. That's a byproduct of the nanoparticles. So many different wavelengths can be used. Photon hits dye and ejects an electron from a conjugated bond. Well, a conjugated bond is sequential single and double bonds in an organic molecule. The electron moves through the titanium four oxide nanoparticles. They've asked about those nanoparticles. Uh, they have a high surface area. They're very small. Uh, so lots of dye can be uh, made available for this solar cell to work. And it also means that different wavelengths of light will, will also work. The electron moves around the circuit and does work. And so work is another name for some electrical activity, such as lighting up a bulb or powering something. The electron then moves to the platinum. Platinum's inert, receives the electron. And then the electron is carried back to the die on this very clever kind of transportation process. The triiodide ion and the iodide ion are involved in that. No way they're going to ask you to memorize that equation. Maybe ask you to balance it. The beloved IB have asked uh, the advantages of the DSSC over a regular silicon solar panel. Uh, the the dye-sensitized solar cell is simpler to make, it's cheaper, it can use a, a wider range of wavelengths, uh, which means it would be more efficient, I suppose. You can use different sorts of sunlight. And it's somewhat transparent and somewhat flexible. And we're done.